Hi guys, um, today I just want to quickly talk to you about what I would term relationships over strategy. Relationships over strategy. And um, what I might say today, some people might agree, some people might not agree. And I would understand with the people that do not agree because we've been inundated with the fact that business is rooted in strategy and principles um but then my thoughts and my personal opinion is that business successful business is rooted in relationships and when people talk to us a lot about business they talk about principles and strategies talk about five principles five strategies and and i'm not against strategies i'm not against principles principles and strategies are very good but the thing about the thing about it is principles and strategies are like spice that you put in food. It is not necessary, but it is good. It doesn't make up food, but it makes food better. It makes food smell better. It makes food taste better. Um, just like you have spices like curry and thyme. You can cook without curry and thyme. But food is better with curry and thyme. And, and that's where businesses need to adopt strategies and principles. And um, so that you can be more attractive and people can have a better experience. Um, but you must realize that the lifeline of business is relationships. Fostering good relationships. And I cannot overemphasize that, that relationships are the lifeline of business. And a lot of times I see people run business like they are dealing with, like they are robots. Like they are robots and they are not human. So they, they lose their human side and they lose their very essence. And, um, you know, it kind of reminds me of when I was in school, when I was in university. Um, you know, some people, I, I, I used to call them bad evangelists and they used to come from fellowships and they just come to the room on a Saturday afternoon and just say, oh, we are from so-so-and-so fellowship. Just, just, they just, number one, they just invade your space and just say, we are from so-so-and-so fellowship and uh, we want to talk to you about Christ and they sit down and they just start talking. Like, like, it's, it's, it's like, it's like on auto, auto play. And just start telling you, oh, Christ loves you, Jesus loves you, you need to be born again, stuff like that. And this is our fellowship, we have fellowship at this time, we hope to see you, here is this tract. And there is no conversation that goes on. Hardly any conversation that goes on. And in the end, you are left thinking, I am not going to that fellowship. Because you don't really feel like they care about you. Number one, you, don't, you, you know they don't remember your name. Because when they are praying for you, they are like, oh, my brother, my brother, my brother. They can't remember your name. Um, no, number two, they, they haven't asked about anything really personal. You see, we are in a school environment and you've not taken time to ask how things are going with my academics, with my grades. I don't go to that fellowship because it is not a good fellowship. I go to that fellowship because they've had really bad ambassadors. And that's how we operate business sometimes. We are so fixated on strategies and principles that we read in books and hear at lectures and seminars and trainings and, and we become so hard and we, and we disengage our brain and we just go into that auto control of this is the strategy this book told me. Some of these strategies are, are good, but sometimes you need to engage your brain and be human and think. And that's where the core of empathy of business comes in. You see, there, there, there was a time I went to um, a shopping mall and I went to buy um, like singlets, underwear singlet, and um, I had accidentally taken the wrong size. I took the small size and not the medium size or the large size. I think I took the medium size and not the large size. And I had gone out, I had paid for it to the two, and I and immediately... I was giving, my, my receipt was stamped. I stepped out and I just, for some reason, pulled it out. And I saw this was medium. And I went back in. And they told me to go to the customer service. And I went to the customer service and the guy looked at it and said, oh, okay, oh, we, 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 can't, we, we can't 
Number one, we can't refund, refund you. And I said, I don't need a refund. I just need to swap this. I still want to buy, but I just need to swap it. I said, oh, we don't swap on the way. And I was like, okay. I understand that. I understand where you're coming from. But thank God I have the receipt. And the receipt gives the time. And the time is just three minutes. Three to five minutes away from when, you know, what's it up to five minutes? I'm telling you, like three minutes. It was, it was only time. And I said, I just stepped out the door and I realized that this, and they were like, no, 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 we can't do it. It's underwear. We can't do it. Sir, I, I understand. I can see the time. And I said, look at the time. Could, could I actually have gone home and won this and in this, in this three minutes? I said, no, no, I, I, we can't do that. And you see, in my mind, I took it and I said, I'm not going back to that place again to buy anything from that place. You see, I just checked out that place. And that was because they were operating like robots. There was no empathy. You see, you see, see the thing is that even if he didn't take back that item, there was no pause of let me think about this thing. And there was no, oh man, I, I totally understand what you're saying, sir. Wow, this is a very tough decision. I really wish I could do this. I really wish. I totally understand. I really wish I could do this. Or even try to make a call or made an effort to seem like, okay, what do I do in this situation? I would have felt like someone listened to me. You understand? And even, even, even if it didn't, it wasn't the result I wanted in the end, it would, have, it would have been like someone listened. And sometimes we run our business like that. You understand? Principles, strategies that guide us. I'm like, I don't do this. We don't do this. This is, it goes against what we represent. And you forget to be human. And then we we we, we, see, we tend to see people as a means to an end because you become so strategic in your thinking and your relationship with people. So strategic that like you're not human anymore. You become like people that do multi-level marketing. You see, those multi-level marketing people, they're not interested in any conversation if the conversation is not leading to come and be under me. You understand? Come and be under me in the, in the in the chain block. You understand? Whatever it is. You just want to acquire people. So when they call you for lunch, they're not calling you for lunch. They're calling you to do a presentation. They don't really care. And you cannot run business like that. You understand? Become very unattractive. I think the last instance I want to give was someone reached out to me not too long ago on LinkedIn. And that's just said that even I have that mentality sometimes. And he, he was a pretty influential person. He was running a pretty big company, you understand? A pretty big startup. And the um, person reached out to me and said, I've, I've been seeing your stuff and I would really like, like to get to know you and stuff like that. And you see, immediately my mind went into, oh, pitch mode. How can I pitch to this guy? How can I talk to him about my business? And I had to tell myself, Tola, this is a human being. It doesn't have to be business. It, it really doesn't have to be. You understand? That's, that's probably how this place is like LinkedIn where, where you feel every single thing, every single message has to be leading to the bottom line of business. No. And I just had to control myself and say, you know what? Let me just introduce. I just say, oh, it's good to meet you. Thanks for contacting me and stuff like that. And let's get to talk sometime. You understand? That's how it is. That's how it works. Not everything has to go to the bottom line of they need to come and work with me or nothing. Then we leave business. Business is now rooted in strategy and principles, which are good. But we must root business in relationships, in care and empathy. And I want you guys to spend some time thinking about that today.